So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, even if they're in the answer choices, right? So in this case, the question itself doesn't provide the visual input, but the answer choices do. I'm gonna call those types of questions diagram questions. More specifically, what we have here in each of these answer choices are graphs, right? We have a graph in each answer choice. So what does this question say? It says, what is the graph of the equation y equals x plus two squared minus four? So we can tell by looking at the graphs that this equation must graph for a parabola. In fact, it must be an up, upward facing or upward opening parabola. Now, what you may not know, but hopefully you do, um, if you don't though, I'm gonna show you, is the generic, I call it generic, the generic equation for a parabola looks like this, y equals plus or minus a, parentheses, x minus h squared plus k, where h comma k is the vertex of the parabola, right? So for us, if I look at the equation provided, y equals x plus two, squared minus four, that tells me that I have nothing to worry about with the a term in front here, but it also tells me that my minus h became a plus two, which means h must equal negative two, right? Hopefully that makes sense. My minus h in the generic equation became a plus two in my actual equation, or a positive two, which means h must equal negative two. I'd have to replace this h with a negative two in order to get a positive two here. And then my minus four, right, my positive k became a negative four, which means my k must equal negative four. So which parabola has a vertex at the point negative two comma negative four? So on my graph, it looks like the vertex here is at negative two comma zero, so A is gone. For choice B, my vertex is at positive two zero, so B is gone. For choice C, my vertex is at what is this? This is a two and one, two, three, four. So it's two comma negative four. So that's also incorrect, much closer, but incorrect. And then here again, if this is my origin, then I have negative one, negative two, and negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So there's my vertex of the parabola and that's at negative two comma negative four, which is exactly what I want, right? Which means that choice D is the correct answer.